Hi everyone, Jenny Boyle with Jennifer Boyle Photography and I'm here with you today because I see a lot of people uh, really kind of struggling with Zoom or whatever other video uh, meeting platform you're using, really kind of struggling to make it, make it look great, make it look the way you want it to look. And I thought, hey, this is a way that I can be of service right now because let's be honest, I'm not out there photographing people. So this is one way I can help. Um, so for the next 10 days, I'm going to be coming at you with some really quick and easy tips to help you make your uh, video meeting space look the best that it can look and yourself look the best that you can look in it. Um, these are going to be really quick, quick tips, uh, not a big investment of time, not an investment in money, all things that you already have around your home. and. Um, and I can't wait to see how great y'all look. All right, so this is tip number one. This is something that I see a ton of, which is maybe the easiest fix of all, is just having a really bright light right behind you. So, of course, look how dark my face is. I see a lot of like crazy shadows. Also, the angle is really low. So the way that these cameras work in our devices, they just take a look at all of the light that's coming at them, the bright light, the dark light, and they try to average it all out. So if they see a really, really bright light behind me, they're going to make the rest of the image dark because they're trying to expose for that super bright light that's behind me. So really, what I need to do is just take that light out of the equation. Um, so just raise it up, like raise my raise my laptop up, uh, raise whatever I'm using up, so that that light is no longer in the frame. It's not being factored into how the camera needs to expose for the picture. And that is my big tip. Try to get those bright lights out from right behind you.